Welcome back. So we got that large pulley back that was being uh, machined to so the teeth would line up with the other one. So it was time to put the rest of the belt drive system together. So here you can see um, actually just putting um, grease into the rest of the lower housing. So because the, all the bearings were greased before, but um, there's still a bit of a cavity in there. So you just basically keep pumping in until it comes out um, of the oil seals. And then, you know, I just rotate it around and basically do it some more to make sure all the air is out of there. Anyway, so while you're watching that, I will let you know, um, Jeff and I are going up to uh, Oshkosh. We won't be presenting anything, but I'll be pretty busy up there um, talking with Garmin and, and putting in our order for all the different avionics and getting all that sorted out um, and meeting with a couple of other different people up there. I may be able to have time to, you know, just briefly meet with a couple of people there. We'll see, but, you know, I need time to sort of relax a little bit as well. Anyway, so if you're going to be up there, uh, hopefully you have a good show and maybe I'll, I'll see you. Anyway, so I got this uh, all uh, lubricated there and uh, so it's on to uh, the next step of putting the rest of that uh, drive back together. And I posted a single picture of this on Facebook on Saturday because I was in uh, putting this together. Basically, there's the dash sort of coming together, the panel, and I just sort of clico together the bottom and the, and the top halves. And you can see there quite a lot of space in that, so it uh, won't be long there. I'll be getting more work done on that and uh, getting the panel in place. And when we get the avionics, starting to put it all together. And the guys have been pretty much working on ribs um, for the first half of this week. There's a lot of them to do, and uh, so they're just prepping them all, ready to lay up uh, some molds later in the week and next week. And Jeff's been busy uh, laying up a few more of these parts, uh, brackets, for uh, the flight control pulleys and such. So our switches arrived and I installed them in that little bracket I created. So you can see we have the avionics master, fuel pump, starter, door seals and pitot on the first line and the actual battery master is just going to be triggered by a key switch on the dash and then the second line we have taxi, landing, nav, strobes and then the last switch we're missing the cover that's going to be for the air scoop for opening and closing it and you see I printed up uh, sort of five covers there to uh, cover over the opening holes that we're not using right now that we may use later on so I just 3D printed those. And just to show you again the guys are busy working on st still working on these ribs and they'll be working on them for quite a little while yet. Um, there was about 50 or so that got printed up almost 60 so there's quite a lot of work for them to do there and I uh, see so everybody's on it you'll probably get tired of seeing that but anyway maybe by the time uh, Oshkosh is done there won't be too much to see of that and uh, here's some of the uh, finished product there of Jeff's work so you saw I think one of those last week's update but he's got a few more there that he's done so those are coming along nicely and we'll be able to install those uh, shortly and back on the engine so here we've got the belt drive all together and uh, everything's sort of hooked up and the belts are in there it's all bolted and lined and all that good stuff so it's uh, time to run it again and just uh, see how that runs there. And you see uh, we've got Zach sort of standing by at the back there, ready to fire up here in a second. But you see we even took the time there to align the belt, so all the text writing on there is uh, in line from one belt to the other. Anyway, so there's Zach's going to start it. So it's still not tuned yet, but uh, anyway, that seems to be running smoothly there. And uh, you know, obviously, it's not even warm or anything like that. But uh, we're making progress with getting the rest of the engine together. And this big box arrived today, and you're going to have to wait until the next update uh, before you can see what's in there. And that'll be uh, probably Saturday sometime. I'll be able to. Um, I'll be arriving up at Oshkosh on uh, Friday evening, um, but Saturday I should be able to put an update out. So anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week, and thanks again for watching.